This is Queen Street. This is Aberdeen. And this is a slip lane. And I hate slip lanes. They're great if you're a car trying to bypass a red light, but they're terrible if you're a pedestrian. They introduce more points of conflict, and half the time drivers are looking off towards traffic and not looking towards pedestrians. So what's it doing here in the middle of this residential neighborhood? It becomes a lot easier to see when you look from above. The slip lane appears to just point towards these parks. Oh, look at that! Radial Park. These houses seem to have a different character from the rest of the neighborhood. And you can see it again one block west on Kent. Look at how the road rises up. It's almost like there used to be a radial train here. Yep, the reason why we have a car-friendly slip lane is because of a century-old train line. Train good, car bad, Matt Grande, faded Hamilton. In the 1890s, a group of Hamilton businessmen known as the Five Johns believed that the future of the city was in hydroelectric power. They built a generating station at Deque Falls, near the Welland Canal, and formed the Cataract Power Company. Look, Cataract Power went by a lot of different names, but Cataract was the most popular, so we're gonna leave it, okay? We're just, we're just gonna leave it. It even says Cataract on the side of this building. Deque Falls is far from Hamilton, about 43 kilometers. And people at the time believed that hydroelectric power could only travel about 19 kilometers. I don't know why. I'm not an electrical engineer. If you know why, tell me in the comments. The Five Johns proved that you could send hydro over that kind of distance, using alternating current, and in doing so, contributed to Hamilton's nickname of the Electric City. Once the power was flowing, the Five Johns began buying up local railways, and started converting them from steam to electric power. One of the railways was the still under construction, Brantford and Hamilton Railway. The Brantford and Hamilton Electric Railway had a pretty descriptive name. It was an electric railway that ran between Brantford and Hamilton. Normally I wouldn't point that out, but I recently found out that the THMB, Toronto, Hamilton and Buffalo Railway, traveled between Waterford and Welland, which are quite famously neither Toronto nor Buffalo. The railway started here at Hamilton Terminal Station. If you've ever wondered why this building is called Terminal Towers, now you know. They've even got a plaque commemorating the Five Johns. You'll know how much I love a commemorative plaque. From here, the train traveled down Main Street to Hess. It traveled northbound on Hess until around Aberdeen where it turned sharply right. From there, it cruised through where the slip lane is, across Radial and Mapleside Parks, and then through the Kirkendall neighborhood. There used to be a stop around here near Sanatorium Falls. Employees would use it to access the sanitarium above. You can still see remnants of the stairs from the top. And then there's this wall here. The Royal Hamilton Light Infantry used to have a rifle range below. During training operations, they would shoot towards the escarpment, so the wall was built to protect train riders from stray bullets. In fact, you can even find bunkers just south of Alexander Park. The train then cut across Ancaster St. James neighborhood, down this trail, and then stopped on Halson Street. In Spring Valley, even though this area was built up decades after the train line disappeared, it still made its mark on the property lines. Even as we get further into the country, the train line is still marked by the stand of trees near Alberton. And if you look in the distance, you can see where it would continue on. There's also the remnants of this bridge at Fairchild Creek. There's been no train line here for nearly a hundred years, and it's still clearly visible where it was. Isn't that neat? I think that's neat. Hey, don't judge me. You're the one watching this. We're in this together. The rail line stopped here at the Lorne Bridge in Brantford. This wall here is all that remains of the station. When I look back at stuff like this, I'm always surprised at how connected this area used to be. You could take a single electric train from Oakville all the way to Port Dover. You can't do that anymore. And not only would the train stop in Hamilton and Burlington and Brantford, it would also stop in Canesville, Alberton, Langford. You can't get to these places by bus anymore, let alone by train. It's really a shame that all we're left with are these photos and memories of Faded Brantford. Really, Faded Brantford? That's what we're going with? We're calling it Faded Brantford now. Who changed it? Whose idea was it to change it? No, who changed it? 